Welcome back to JL Smith. I'm going to show you how to remove a stuck mouthpiece from a trumpet. Let's take a look. Mouthpieces can get stuck on brass instruments in the receiver because the tapers are designed so that they do lock together. And that, of course, creates a seal and creates the security for the mouthpiece when the musician's using it. But if the mouthpiece gets forced in by either just popping it in or accidentally dropping it or something on that order, the tapers can actually lock together. And also, if the mouthpiece is stored in the instrument for a great length of time, there's uh, deposits from saliva and so forth that can build up and cause that to cement in place. So it's important for us to know uh, a good procedure for remo removing the mouthpiece. It's very important not to try to twist it out all too often, we see someone that's tried to grab this and with uh, either just by hand or with tools and try to, to uh, sort of unscrew it. But because of the design of the tapers, it's important that the mouthpiece be pulled straight out. If you try to twist it off, you could actually break the bond at the braces and maybe damage the lead pipe and certainly twist some braces up. So it's important to pull this straight out. The only way to do that properly is with a professional mouthpiece puller. So this is a mouthpiece puller of professional design. It's designed so that we have these jaws that um, securely tighten around the uh, base of the mouthpiece on the, on the receiver. And then these have uh, adjustable jaws that will hold the mouthpiece and pull it straight out, separating it from the receiver. It's important to move the plates of this tool evenly on each side so that it doesn't bind. And that's done by turning the screws like this evenly, either back or forth. And then you're going to adjust this into a starting position and then lock the jaws in place. We now turn the screws just a half a turn at a time and the mouthpiece comes free. There are some times when a mouthpiece can be so frozen in the receiver that the tension alone on the puller isn't enough to pull the mouthpiece out. And it's because of the, the locked uh, nature of the, the uh, tapers here. And so if we use a little per percussion on this, it could help just free that up. So we use a, a plastic hammer such as the one we sell in the Valentino Fix Kit and just use some very light glancing blows. And you'll even hear and see it when the mouthpiece becomes loose. It may be necessary to use a little heat and penetrating oil, and this is particularly so if the mouthpiece has been stored in the instrument for a while and there's deposits that are cementing the two pieces together. We just use a little heat from a heat source like the hot air gun that we sell in the Valentino fix kits. And we just heat that receiver up till it's warm to the touch. And then we just apply a drop of penetrating oil. And the heat now pulls the penetrating oil down the length of the receiver and thereby loosening the deposits that are in there. Once again, try the mouthpiece puller and see how it, how it pulls. There are some times where it may be necessary to do a couple applications of the heat and penetrating oil. Sometimes you might want to let it set overnight. So there you have it. You've just learned proper and effective techniques for removing a stuck mouthpiece. All of these tools and supplies that I've used are available on our website at jlsmithco.com and they're also items that are included in the Valentino Director's Fix Kits. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here soon.